The Bears host the Texans on Sunday. I'm Marshall Harris. This is three things to watch and this week we have a little help. Welcome in Clay Harbor, former NFL tight end who resides right here in Chicago and Clay nine years playing tight end and we're going to get to tight ends talking about this game, but this matchup, the Bears trying to go to two and one over the Texans. We're looking for three things to watch. Let's start with the running game. You think that's going to be a big deal, whether it's Damian Pierce on the side of the Texans or David Montgomery continuing and picking up where he left off against the Packers. Absolutely, Marshall. I think the, the run game is going to be the biggest part of this game for, for both teams. Lovey Smith last weekend, he gave Damian Pierce the rock. The week before, he split carries with Rex Burkhead and Damian Pierce. Last game, 15 carries for Damian Pierce, 69 yards, average over four yards a carry. They're going to pound the rock against the Bears. Can the Bears stop them? They didn't stop the ball against the Packers. We need a big game from Roquan Smith if he plays. And then on the Bears' side of the ball, Khalil Herbert, David Montgomery, they got to continue on the same trajectory as last week against the Packers. They had a great game against the Packers. David Montgomery, 122 yards, averaging 8.1 yards per carry. Keep that going, and that will set up the pass game for our main man, Justin Fields. And we know Justin Fields needs to get things going in the passing game. One of the reasons he hasn't been able to get things going, uh, I think you call it the security blanket. Of course, you would think that being a former tight end, but got to get the tight ends going. Where has Cole Komet been? I've been trying to find him, honestly. I love the tight end. I played tight end for nine years, Marshall. The tight end should be the quarterback security blanket. Right now, Cole Komet has more drop balls than he has catches. He's got two targets on the whole season. Get Cole Komet the ball. Get him involved. I don't care if you're getting him a five-yard out early, a quick stop early. Get him the ball early. Get him his first catch. Then you can get him on a roll. The next thing you know, you have one of your players that was supposed to be a playmaker for you this season playing well. And, of course, they need him. They need Darnell Mooney, who's at last count. He's only been targeted five times. He's got two catches and four yards. This is a guy who had a breakout season last year. Looking for more of the same from him. Now, let's talk a little bit about the struggles on, on defense. And we can say, hey, as a veteran, you guys have to tackle better. But also, the rookies – I know it's week three, their third week playing in the pros. They've got to be better. That starts in the backfield. Kyler Gordon has got to feel like he was bullied up and down the field by Aaron Rodgers last week, hoping Davis Mills does not do the same thing. Kyler Gordon has got to get better, and he's got to get better quick. Jalen Johnson is playing well. That's because everybody's been targeting Kyler Gordon. Kyler Gordon has the most targets in the NFL at 17. He's given up 11 receptions for 156 yards. That is not good. He's got to do better, and he's going to have a test this week. Brandon Cooks is one of the better slot receivers in the league. He's averaging 4.5 yards per route run. That is high. That's going to be a big matchup if the Bears want to win. We're looking for a high scoring or low scoring game in this one, you think? I think it's going to be a low scoring game. We're going to run the ball. We're going to have some play action off of that. Obviously, we need to get more passes. Last week, we only threw 11 passes with Justin Fields. QB1 needs more than 11 passes. And I think if you, if you establish the run early, that's going to open up some passing lanes. We know Lovey Smith. We know what kind of defense he likes to run. There's going to be holes. Oh, Bears fans all too familiar with Lovey Smith and what he does well, what he doesn't do as well. We'll find out what's going on. And a reminder, you can watch Sunday's game right here on CBS2. And immediately following the game at noon, we've got our post-game show. This man, Clay Harbor, will be right here in studio along with Matt Zahn. Jackie Kostick will be in the locker room at Soldier Field. So don't don't go anywhere after the game. Stay tuned for the post game show right here on CBS 2.